Yes, yes, yes. Welcome back to Netwatchers TV. Big up to all the subscribers, you know. You always have to get the first big up on every occasion, you understand? Because you're doing a great thing, as you may say. And then I want big up to all of the viewers. Massive, you know what I mean? Everybody just passing through Netwatchers TV. And you know, Netwatchers Radio, we have all the exclusive all of the new happenings in dance hall and abroad here and there and everywhere you understand and in today's episode we'll be underlining our you know what I mean we will be bringing to you our ideas here at Netwatchers TV as it relates to current happenings in dance hall you understand and really what is it that we can expect of these dance hall artists here in 2018 I just want to say I wish you all a very prosperous new year once more you know what I mean and I hope that it will be very productive for you and your family and all of your well wishes you understand now we want to talk about dance hall as I previously stated. Now I hear a lot of the, the other co-workers them, the vloggers them, you know what I mean? Elaborating on who was the best for the year and who is it that kept the number one hit song and the best performances and everything else, you know what I mean? And in all of those reviews, I never hear anybody bring up the man himself, Ping, Peng Beng, isn't me? And I don't want the listeners right now to get this thing twisted. You understand what I say? Because Kiyot right now, in my opinion, is the most improved dancehall artist going over into 2018 you understand what I'm saying and right now due to what we're realizing is that Gage have a rain check you understand what I'm saying and Gage start pretty different and I know the listeners them right now the world the listeners them who tune into Netwatchers TV on a regular basis might be saying then how is it that you have to say Gage is the most improved but Gage is not no young artist no you understand me, I say Gage is not no young artist. But at the end of the day, Gage was in a race and Gage just stopped. And Gage realized that, listen, I must be doing something wrong. So I may say, in terms of how I'm delivering on the stage, how my music impact the audience. And, you know what I mean, basically just the overall package because we know Gage as the man who come out. In the, in, 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 in the shadow of, you know what I mean, come out really in the pattern, I should say, of, of man like Vibes Cartel and Tamale and Bounty Killer. You understand what I say? And according to what we get to understand, Gage, Gage wasn't really satisfied, you understand what I say? And made it very clear that a lot of what he did was because of advice from his previous producer you understand now Gage to me is the most improved in terms of the quality the content that Gage is singing about now you know what I mean it's on another level you understand Gage has found a new flow Gage find some very heartfelt lyrics you know what I mean you know words of wisdom you know what I mean? And this brother is really trying to go all out right now in terms of how he's thinking about shaping his new fan base. You understand? Because we know we know Gage as the man who sing the famous Slack song, you know what I mean? And right now 
Gage is just thinking about how he's going to be getting out of that little that little um stereotype that everybody have on him right now as just a slack artist, you understand? So Gage in my opinion spent all of twenty seventeen revamping all that he had to do in two thousand and sixteen. You understand me I say because most of that work right now is like the man I try to rub it out, is what I say. And I don't know if Gage really performing those old songs at his stage shows and just putting these new songs mainstream. We are talking about the, 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 the elevation where we see with Gage now. It really are followed from the Irish singer, is what I say, followed by song like Underrated and you know the young legend mixtape that Gage up, is what I say, so. Right now, with this momentum that Gage pick up in 2017, if if Gage is supposed to continue right now and find that one hit song, I mean, Gage have a pass out a lot of the artists them right now where we would have consider as in the top 10, you see me? Because, you know what I mean, Gage really appears on a material level in terms of the music and if it can be on a far-reaching basis, if it can be on a mainstream basis because the lyrics, quite frankly, is basically mainstream lyrics, you understand me I say? But we all know how dancehall is and how the massive stay in terms of the type of songs that they like to listen to. You understand me I say? So right now, Gage is really bringing forth his formula to the table. We not find it yet, but overall, over time, you understand? I think he's going to be doing great or uh, good in 2017, 2018. You understand, sir? All you net watchers, TV subscribers, you know what I mean? And all you viewers, thank you for watching. And, you know, I know that you all love to visit net watchers, TV because you know that we have the best in everything, you know what I mean? Best in all aspects, you understand? In dance all in all the loop in all the international major stories and the blogs and all of that you know what I mean and we have to really go ahead and say kudos kudos to the great work of the dance hallers in 2017 you know what I mean you know one more year as lobster and dance hall is still here so we just want to say big up and you know what I mean let watch us TV just want to say, you know what I mean, thank you for supporting the movement and subscribe, like, share, you know what I mean, and just pick up yourself until the next installment, Netwatchers TV, Best Watchers TV.